Hi budget friends and today I have a very interesting topic to talk about. I actually always find this fascinating because every individual person is different and the subject is what do you personally like to invest in and buy more quality items of and what do you cheap out on and it's it's really cool and the more I get to know someone the more I can kind of figure them out. So I have friends that you know absolutely love a good like quality, you know, name brand, expensive handbag, but they have no problem at all um, always buying their clothes at the thrift store kind of thing. Um, and I have other friends that would rather spend a lot of money on something and then cheap out on something else that I consider more important. So I just wanted to go over quickly some of the things that I like to invest in and some of the things that I totally cheap out on life is a game of balances and when you give to one thing you must take from another at least with our money that is or else you have to be rich if you want to give to everything you have to be rich and I'm not rich and I don't think anyone watching this channel is rich enough to do that so um, let's start out with my face glasses are something I totally cheap out on I um, absolutely love the internet age for no other reason than that there are online glasses retailers where you can purchase glasses and sunglasses and to your heart's desire and spend 10 15 20 dollars on a good quality pair of glasses and you never have to go in and spend 300 on them like I did on my first pair of glasses I remember it cost 300 dollars for the first pair of glasses my mother ever had to buy me and that was insane and in you know subsequent years when I had to like buy my own glasses um, I get excited when that one eye center had that hundred dollar glasses thing where you could go in and buy a pair of glasses for a hundred dollars <laughs> now I spend a hundred dollars on glasses like every seven years <laughs> ha, ha. now I do have a video that I've done before on that on uh, best online glasses retailers and how to spend like ten bucks on prescription glasses and I totally stand by that these are fairly new and I love them and they're super good quality they st they're still a little like hard to bend they haven't quite broken in yet but they're lovely so that's one thing that I always cheap out on glasses because the quality doesn't actually um, improve when you spend more money on them these are great these are just as awesome as any that I go into an eye store and get so I totally cheap out on these something else I always cheap out on is accessories so I spend a little bit more money on my clothes especially my work clothes and I've done a video before which I will link below on um, how I have filled my wardrobe with high quality brand name items um, for just a fraction of the cost and how I um, save money on doing that and how I shop to save money that way and it mostly involves me waiting until there are sales and being patient and also having a smaller wardrobe to consist of that however it's accessories where I get to go super crazy I only purchase jewelry at yard sales or on things like Black Friday where they're on super sales and you can get super discounts this is a really cool necklace I got for a quarter at a garage sale um, this one I also got a garage sale and both of these um, I got at I think a JC Penney's or a Dillard's uh, for just probably five or six dollars each maybe not even that one Black Friday and that was kind of my thing that year I wanted to get some nice costume jewelry to kind of flare up jazz up my outfits but yeah I don't spend a lot of money on these I, I don't really think it's worth spending a lot of money on jewelry um, especially since I don't wear like diamonds or anything like that there's if you're just talking about everyday accessorizing of your outfits then I shop the thrift store yo and both of these were I think a buck or two at a dirt cheap it's just it's not worth it to me to invest money in accessories when you know sometimes these will break or rust and uh, I definitely get my money's worth on them so I always cheap out on that whereas I don't cheap out generally on clothing um, I will invest a little bit more money in uh, high quality brand name clothing from uh, department stores 
and from custom retailers online uh, like eShopti and I'll use things like coupons and sales to get money off on them uh, even if I shop at lower end retailers like Old Navy this dress was $15 uh, so I, I may be willing to spend more on them though I don't always spend more but I am willing to I'm willing to spend up to $40 for dresses you know $50 for coats same thing with shoes I'm willing to spend more on quality shoes because life is too short to walk around with your feet hurting. Um, <laughs> once again, if I can find sales and do anything possible, buy things on Amazon, on eBay, uh, to get a cheaper price on something, I absolutely will. But I do look for the quality name brand items like Clark's and Dides, and uh, I invest. I'm willing to invest more money in buying quality shoes and clothing because I know it's gonna last a while. Whereas accessories, it's kind of a hit or a miss. Um, something I am not willing to buy quality of and to spend more of, I totally cheap out on undershirts and things that you don't really see like that. These, um, I have probably seven or eight little shirts like this, just little plain undershirts in various colors. And you'll see this is a faded glory Walmart brand um, and I will actually every couple of years or so I'll just buy a new set of these I think I ordered six of these this year I got a beige two whites two blacks and a blue or a pink or something and I use these to wear as layering under uh, different tops or um, sometimes I'll even wear them as like sleep shirts but I um, I end up with a bunch of these and I spent two dollars and 88 cents each on these also workout tops I'm wearing workout clothes today um, this is a four dollar Walmart shirt uh, I am NOT willing to spend a lot of money on clothes that are either not going to be seen or that I'm just gonna sweat in and go out into the woods and get dirty and sometimes I use like old t-shirts for this but other times you know um, I just want to have a really lightweight shirt that's kind of mint for going and walking and hiking and uh, so I, I bought myself a couple of these this year to replace some old ones that were getting kind of dingy and they were about four dollars each totally willing to do that I am NOT gonna spend twenty dollars on like workout tanks or anything that says like run or wild or wolf stuff uh, I'm just not willing to spend a ton of money on stuff that I just am gonna sweat in and get all nasty or stuff you can't see so I totally cheap out on stuff like this I also like to cheap out on things like socks and underwear and I'll get to the third in a second um, I don't buy I'll tell you we, we've gotten close I've talked about my menstrual cup before um, I do buy my underwear from a well I buy it from Lane Bryant but I wait until they have like their semi-annual panty sales and I all of mine wears the exact same kind it's the same cut and the same size and I just wait until they go on sale and I'll buy you know like five they'll usually have like a five for 25 type deal and uh, I'll, I'll try to apply a coupon on top of it usually get five pairs for maybe 20 bucks sometimes 15 um, and about once a year I'll go and get some new panties and then throw the old ones away and I do the same thing with socks every year or so um, at least every year sometimes a little more often I'll go to Walmart and I'll buy a new pack of socks uh, just I buy the little um, just ankle athletic type socks uh, five pack for seven or eight dollars kind of thing um, you know not the not the really cheapy kind these will last me the whole year and then I rotate them in and out so I cheap out on those I really do I don't think it's really worth it to go to Victoria's Secret and buy like the super frilly panties no nope, nobody sees those <laughs> um, so yeah that is an area I definitely cheap out on let's see what else I cheap out on home decor so pillows and artwork and little bubbles and stuff like that I buy all of this stuff at garage sales and thrift stores and you know junk shops that kind of thing and I have done my entire home in uh, this kind of style I really like local art 
kind of stuff, especially if I can find it at Garage Hills. I think I paid $2 for this, um, and I think it's pretty. You might not think it's pretty, but I think the poppies are pretty. Um, this pillow I got at a dirt cheap for probably $4. Um, I've also been known to order pillow covers off of Amazon for a couple of bucks each to cover pillows and kind of give them a new look. The, the, the grumpy cat kit pillow in my living room that you guys sometimes comment on is a pillow cover from Amazon that I think was $3.18. Um, 25 cents at a garage sale. You can spend as much money as you want going to, uh, going to stores. I mean this, I, th I've seen these everywhere, but these probably cost what, seven or eight dollars each at Target. Um, I, I tend to stay a little bit behind trends and uh, just kind of get what I like and when I see stuff at yard sales after it's a little past trend I, I pick stuff up that I like then. So I definitely do not spend a lot of money on that. Everything you see in my home that is out has, uh, has been like thrifted or gifted. Um, that's all there is to it. Uh, also speaking of home stuff, furniture is something that I totally cheap out on and for what I believe is a very good reason. Um, all of my furniture has either been inherited, my bedroom set is inherited, that was my mother's, my grandmother's before that, um, and it is in wonderful condition, thank God. Uh, it's a, the French provincial bedroom set and I've carried that with me across three states and it, it traveled through many states before that, before I came along. Um, and it's that old, wonderful, built good quality wood it was put together beautifully and that's another reason I don't particularly like to purchase new furniture is because today I really don't feel like furniture is built to last it's you know it's kind of Ikea -y. it's uh, it's meant to fall apart after a couple of years because people keep redoing it so instead of purchasing that kind of stuff and spending a ton of money in a furniture showroom I buy all of my furniture off of Craigslist off at yard sales, uh, mostly off of Craigslist, if we're being honest, because you can see it, you can go inspect it. Uh, all of my kitchen um, chairs and tables and all of my living room furniture, all Craigslisted and all under $100. <laughs> I don't think I've ever spent more than $100. I absolutely have not spent more than $100 on any piece of furniture off of Craigslist and the couch was $100. It was the most expensive and that was the off of there. So that I, I definitely cheap out on furniture. It absolutely mind boggles me to consider going into a furniture showcase and dropping $700 on a couch or a couch and a chair like that. It, it makes me feel a little sick for a second to even think of it. And I don't know if I'll ever do that because it seems like older furniture is a lot more well crafted and it's obviously a lot a lot a lot cheaper all right next we have undergarment socks furniture art decor jewelry accessories glasses okay those are all of the things that I cheap out on let's see things that you might not expect that I spend am willing to spend a little bit more on this is gonna shock you dog bowl what what budget girl will spend a little more money on a dog bowl yes she will and I'll tell you why this is a, oh goodness, the price tag is still on here. All right, can you see that? $29.99, Oscar de la Renta. No, I didn't spend $29.99 on dog bowls. I'm not insane. Um, Oscar de la Renta dog bowls. Okay, so I got the this and it also has a pair. There's a dog food bowl and dog water bowl. This is a water bowl um, from Dirt Cheap via Target um, or Target via Dirt Cheap. And I thought it was really pretty, a nice heavy ceramic dog bowl with, you know, it's a heavy base. Rory can't pick this up and take it anywhere and she can't knock it over. And for the first year I had her, I used like Rubbermaid bowls and like Tupperware or just whatever was laying around to give her her food in. And then I realized this is something that sits out in my home all the time. It's practically, I mean, it's decor, really. It's out... 24 hours a day, she's got her little bowl, um, she's got her bowls in her little tray, it's on the floor all the time because you have to feed the dog every day. She gets real whiny if I don't. <laughs> Joke. Um, so why not spend just a little bit more to invest in something that you see every single day? So I spent 
eight or nine dollars each on these which once again felt insane at the time but they're incredibly heavy duty I think they're beautiful if you can see all the detailing on that and it makes me happy to put Rory's scoop of dog food in here every day and it it's one of those things that makes my house look nice so I totally think it's okay to invest in things that you're going to see every single day at least invest a little bit more I would never spend $29 on it but I'm perfectly happy with the $16, $18 investment that I did make in these for the two bowls, which you may think is nuts. I just, I'm happy with it at this point. Okay. Um, and that's it. Those are all of the things I want to talk to you about that I either cheap out on or I spend a little bit more quality on. Um, however, there is a middle ground. There is a middle ground where I can be swayed depending on the subject matter and it is getting dark and I apologize for that. So, um, bras, boulder holders. Now, I completely understand why some people spend a lot of money on bras. I do not. I buy the $15, $20 Target bras from Gilligan O'Malley and I have since high school, but I am not well endowed. So I completely understand um, some of my girlfriends who will only wear Victoria's Secret because a bra is a very personal thing and anything that will stop you from being like stabbed in the side by underwire on day, every day, that's, there is no too high price. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so I can wear the little cheapy Target bras um, and I'm perfectly happy with it. And if they ever discontinue it, I have no idea what I'll do because I've tried other bras and they just stab me and they stab me and they hurt. Um, <laughs> but uh, I totally get why some people would invest more in quality undergarments like that. So definitely either or a thing. Another thing, pants and jeans. I totally get why people will spend $70, $80 on a pair of jeans that looks amazing. I am not to that point. I don't think I've ever spent more than $30 on a pair of jeans. Um, now I have had those jeans for like four years. So that's been a pretty good investment in terms of cost per use. However, I do not think that $200, $300 pairs of jeans are ever reasonable. I would, I would never spend that much on a pair of jeans. There, there's no possible way that they could do something for my body that would be worth that. Just saying. Yeah, I would, that much money in plastic surgery might, but not an actual pair of jeans. No, no. So um, I do understand investing a little bit more in a good pair of jeans, especially if you live in them and you wear them kind of for fashion purposes, but I cheap out on that and I cheap out on bras. All right, and the final thing is purses. Now I have kind of gone back and forth on this for a long time because here's the thing. This is my purse right now. I think it was about $20. It's just a big, big bag. And I only got it because it has this long strap so I can wear it crossbody and it fits everything I need to fit in here because I, I carry my digital SLR camera around every day for work and I usually carry some notebooks and my wallet and all sorts of stuff. So that works as far as carrying everything that I need to carry. However, if someone told me that if I spent $100 on a purse, it would last me like five plus years and I could wear it all the time and it would be comfortable and it had all the pockets that I needed and it would just, it would be like the purse. I would hand over that money so fast it would like leave smoke on my hand. So I'm, I'm very torn on purses until I find like the perfect one I, I'm sticking with like the $20, $30 purses um, and just replacing them as they wear out. I only own one purse at a time. Um, I wear it until it wears out and then I, I pick up another one, sometimes in a little bit of a frantic frenzy and I don't really get to shop that much. However, um, if, if I could find a wonderful crossbody leather bag that wasn't too big and it could fit everything I needed, but it, it was compact and it was pretty, oh. I'd hand over that money in a heartbeat. So I also understand women that will invest more in a designer bag, you know, hundred, two hundred dollars. Um, when you get into the thousands, I'm, I'm not with you anymore. There's, there's nothing a thousand dollar purse can do that a hundred dollar purse can't do, and you can't convince me otherwise. 
other than impress somebody I don't care about. Um, <laughs> but that that's another kind of middle of the road. So I thought you guys might be interested in uh, what I'm willing to splurge on and what I really like to cheap out on and save on. And I'd love to hear your opinions on this. Do you have something that you will absolutely always buy, like the more expensive version brand name of? And I'd love to hear what you always cheap out on too. I will uh, see you all very soon. I can't wait to see your comments below. Have a wonderful weekend.